What's up, y'all? Um, I wanted to put out uh, a video talking about bill validators because uh, a lot of people have hit me up um, asking about uh, just bill validators in general, I guess. Like, what do you have to do to uh, make, make counterfeit bills uh, go through machines or money counters at banks, bill validators, self-checkout, like uh, POS machines um, <clears throat> and it's really like there's a lot to talk about when it comes to that because all machines are different there's kind of like your standard little bill validator that they'd have in a retail setting at like a, a retail closed store or something it basically just has a red light or a green light um, and as, as far as I know those um, simple ones you'll find at like a Ross or Belks or Sears kind of stores. Um, they just detect magnetic ink. Um, and again, there's different, uh, you know, brands of bill validators and some detect just magnetic ink, some detect, uh, you know, just UV uh, security features. Um, some detect both, some have infrared. Um, you know, there's there's all sorts of, you know, different companies that make bill validators and, you know, all the machines are different. Um, so that's kind of why I never really bothered with that too much was because there's just so much to to focus on. Um, you know what I mean? If I, if I wanted to make a counterfeit bill that would go through any machine, um, it would be a tremendous amount of work. Um, so... But, for the most part, you know, you can get around most of them. Um, so, like, I found a way to uh, get around the magnetic ink um, security feature or whatever. If, if a, like, a vending machine uh, typically, like the older vending machines, typically uh, detect magnetic ink only. Um, and as far as I know, and, and they keep this stuff kind of secret, um, but, you know, now with the internet, you can look up patent information. So, I mean, like I said in videos before, I mean, if you, if, uh, I've had to read a lot of information, um, and you'd be surprised what you can find on the internet nowadays from, like, patent information. So, like, say I found out how to counterfeit the 3D blue security ribbon on the newest $100 bill by looking up Crane and Company's uh, patent they have called Motion. And it describes, you know, fly eye, lenticular lens arrays, and this and that. So, um, as far as the machines go, you know what I mean? Next time you're at the store, if you're at a self-checkout machine, look at the brand name. Um, like, for instance, the, the scanners um, that you scan the products with are called, like, Magellan something whatever uh, model number it the machine may be but Magellan is the brand of the scanner now the POS machine that you actually put the money into um, there's different brands um, in, in like I said each company probably has different methods of detecting their bills so it's just so much work um, but you know what I mean like say if you go to a Walmart Walmart probably has a contract with a certain company that supplies all their self-checkout machines. So if you see the brand that Walmart, for instance, carries, or, or the brand of self-checkout machine Walmart, for instance, uses, you can look up the patent information on that company, find out how they specifically detect the bills on that specific POS machine, the bill validator, um, and then counterfeit according to them. But at that point, you're kind of like, picking your victim as far as like where you'd break these bills or, or which machines the bills would work in um, which is kind of limits yourself and, and this is why I never really you know attempted too hard to uh, to do the whole self checkout machine uh, deal because there's so many different companies and different brands that detect different things um, but the main ones that I know about um, <clears throat> are uh, you know, magnetic ink, they detect, as far as I know, it's the, the pattern. If you look on different denominations of bills, the pattern behind the, the portrait of the president, um, 
it is different for each denomination. Some have just lines, some have like a cross hatching pattern, whatever, and that's that's printed uh, by an intaglio press with magnetic ink. So like um, the different denominations of bills put off a different magnetic uh, frequency um, that the the machine detects to tell the difference between a, a one dollar bill and a hundred dollar bill. Um, so, but when you're printing, um, so like you can print the, the black work of the bill with something called MICR toner. You'd have to print it with a laser printer and it's called MICR toner. It's magnetic ink character recognition toner. It's uh, meant to print uh, checks from home. Like if you have your own business, you can print your own checks. Um, in that the little routing number, account number, check number on the bottom left of a check is printed with MICR toner. Uh, that way you can run the check through a machine and it reads the magnetic uh, ink. So if you were to print the, the black work of a, of a counterfeit bill with MICR toner, uh, you know, theoretically it would, it would be accepted in a bill validator that only detects magnetic ink. Um, but then there's also uh, a lot of bill validators that use ultraviolet light. Um, and each denomination of bill has the, the, the security thread embedded in the bill um, in different locations and glow different colors. So, you know, I got around that with the invisible ink UV pen. Um, but uh, again, um, you know, different machines are different. So, like, also machines detect uh, infrared and different denominations of bills also have different uh, infrared patterns. Um, so, you know, if they do they do have uh, invisible ink, infrared, uh, or invisible infrared ink that that you could you know theoretically, you know, print on to to a counterfeit bill to to potentially pass that uh, security measure in a bill validator. So, like I said, between magnetic ink, uh, ultraviolet, you know, uh, detection or printing or whatever, infrared. Um, also, I've heard some bill validators take photos or, or like have a camera that, that uh, basically takes a photo of the bill that you enter and kind of analyzes the portrait or whatever. There's software involved. So, I mean, th there's all different types of bill validators and, and especially nowadays with the the advent of self-checkout machines it's getting super advanced because you know there's you got to think Walmart is investing how much money however much money Walmart's investing to uh, protect I mean I'd say probably 80% of all sales at Walmart are through self-checkout machines now so I mean the technology for their security um, is probably pretty advanced uh, you know but again you can you can find out a brand of a specific uh, self-checkout machine, look up the patent information, um, and find out exactly, uh, you know, how that specific machine detects, detects the currency that you put into it. Um, but also, not only patent information, you can, like, if you dig deep enough on Google, you can, I found owner manuals, uh, you know, service guides, basically like the service technician that goes to fix the self-checkout machine when it malfunctions has a, you know, a little owner's manual that, that explains lots of stuff. And you can find all that shit on the internet. So, you know, there's all sorts of shit you can find on the internet. You know what I mean? So many people are emailing me and DMing me and asking me these questions and this and that. And I mean, I, I answer what I can, but... For the most part, I mean, not that I condone this shit, but if you're trying to get in, into it, you know what I mean, you better read as much as you can. Dig deep, you know, go through the, the wormhole of the internet. And, you know, there's something called the Urian Constellation, which is, uh, if you look on, like, different bills, there's little yellow, like on the $100 bill, there's little yellow 100s, pretty small, scattered. It looks random on like the front and the back of the bill um but it's not random there's actually a pattern within the zeros of the 100 and it makes up uh, a pattern of the urian constellation and you know different uh 
that's how like software detects uh, like scanners and Adobe Photoshop kind of realizes that you're trying to edit or print or scan the picture of a bill and it shuts it down as far as I know it detects the Urian constellation which is the pattern of, of the little zeros um, but you know if, if you're reading online about uh, about uh, you know different security features or printing technologies that uh, governments use the Bureau of Engraving and Printing you know if, if you're researching this stuff and you see something like the Urian constellation written and you don't know what it is well if we can go to Google and look it up that and then you know like I said go down this wormhole of just knowledge um, and I've done that a shitload of times um, so you know to, to like I said counterfeiting is is essentially just troubleshooting you know there's there's a problem you've got a you've got to mimic it a problem being a security feature you're trying to mimic um, so you know if you find out that a certain look up the patent information for say the uh, NCR fast lane self-serve checkout machine um, which is a brand of, of self-checkout machines they use Magellan scanners NCR uh, self-serve checkouts look up uh, you know the patent information on that machine see what uh, what technology it uses to detect the bills and then try to mimic that technology you're probably going to encounter infrared UV magnetic ink uh, possibly photographic software that analyzes the, the president's portrait microprinting the Urian constellation within within the, the bill depending on the denomination um, all sorts of things the easiest bill to counterfeit if you're trying to put in a machine would be a one dollar bill um, you know you, you get a laser printer MICR toner print the black work of a one dollar bill there's no embedded strip there's no watermark there's no urine constellation um, I'm not even sure if there's any infrared printing on uh, on a one dollar bill because I've never attempted or anything to counterfeit a one dollar bill but theoretically if you could print counterfeit one dollar bills and they'd be accepted into machines or go to walmart and buy flat screens with one dollar bills all day you know because you're just standing at a machine just feeding them in or whatever i don't know but uh but then at that point the amount of money you're probably spending on micr toner and ink you, you might be breaking even i don't know if it'd even be profitable to counterfeit one dollar bills i mean i'm sure it would on some level if you had like a, a big offset printer or something maybe but um, for the most part it wasn't even really worth it for me to counterfeit $20 bills because at that point you're like putting in all this time and effort to you know glue two pieces of paper together with strips and watermarks and painting on color shifting ink and all this bullshit to get a fake $20 bill and then you go to the store and buy something for $2 and you get $18 change and you're on you're on camera committing a federal offense to make eighteen dollars, it's fucking ridiculous. It's not worth it at all. Um, so hundreds, obviously, you know. And if you, if, in my mind, if I'm gonna counterfeit anything, it's gonna be a hundred dollar bill because, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not really worth it to me otherwise. Um, but yeah, there. So basically, as far as bill validators go, um, the main things that that you need to research find out about or magnetic ink UV infrared the urine constellation um, uh, and yeah different different uh, machines have different features and they're all different diff you know and, and they're advancing uh, tremendously very quickly so yeah I mean it's the best best I got right now um, I'll try to put out some more videos here soon I've been kind of slacking on it because I've been super fucking busy um, I just scheduled an interview with Vlad TV though, so that's fucking awesome. Um, they emailed me on Instagram or messaged me on Instagram and, and wants to do an interview with Vlad TV, so that's fucking cool. Um, but yeah, I'm also going to uh, West Palm Beach in a couple weeks to do uh, MSCS Media podcast, which is a pretty big podcast. The dude Tommy is a really good guy. Um, flights booked 
hotel's booked. I'm just waiting for my approval from my PO to go down there and do that interview. So look look for that when it comes out. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all later.